Buckies, Buckies. You guys are not gonna do the Buckies? Buckies, Buckies, Buckies. Hello and welcome back to my channel. This one is a little different. As you can see, this is Buckies, Buckies, Buckies. That was totally our little chant. My family and I, we went on a road trip. I told you guys this in the last video. I told you I was going to have a Bucky's video for you. A lot of you were very excited about it, which made me excited to show you. Did you see what this place is? It's basically a glorified, like, pit stop, gas station, you know, a stop to make, to go to the bathroom, if you will, <laughs> to buy a few snacks, this one though is so good as soon as i walked in here and saw this i said to my husband oh my gosh i have to make a video in here and he completely agreed look at all this stuff it's unbelievable and i'm going to be showing you all around the store if you didn't notice it's a pretty lengthy video we're going to see lots of things so many good things i loved it in here i couldn't believe that this place was so massive that it had so much decor so much home goods home stuff love this mug so good could you see the price i don't i can't see the price i don't remember what the price was i'm not even sure if the price was on there this little set right here love this is super cute they have so many good items so many cute things if you want to see the brisket because yes, that's like one of the biggest things they're known for is the brisket sandwiches that they sell. So if you want to see the brisket, stay till the very end. There is so much to see in this video, guys. I hope you enjoy it. Let's shop. Do you see this mug? Did you see the mug? I'm actually upset that I didn't look at the price now that I see it. Because that mug, the handle is a ring and it had that gemstone on there what now here is what this place looks like i know didn't it look like a store it looked like we were just like a freaking home goods excuse my language not that that's a curse but ijs i never really say that ijs i'm excited this is insane this is a full-on store by the way i've never seen these before they're like scented situations of sorts. You can hang them in your closet, it says, in your on your like visor, in your car, your rear view mirror is what I'm trying to say. All the things, but it looks like a, I don't know, one of those was a heart, one of them was a cross. They had a bunch of other ones. There was so much to show you and I didn't even show you the entire place like not in full detail because it's a lot and as you can see this video is already 30 minutes long how cute are these love these little warmers that you just plug in i thought that was so cute i mean what other pit stop gas station rest stop all the things are you going what other one has anything like this unicorn scrub yes please this is the cutest 16 dollars that's one thing let's talk price point as we like to do it is not cheap okay guys it is not cheap but it's cool and it's different and i thought it was so good look at this all of the clothes i mean it's everything the clothing as you can see things for your home, decor, everything. They definitely had a very like, you know, religious vibe to it also. Not everything, but they, they definitely included that in what they're selling, which is good because, you know, not every store does that nowadays. So if you're into a more religious vibe, it is, they have it. Bucky's, Bucky's, Bucky's has it for you. I am telling you. Look at all the signs. When I saw some of these signs, I was like, oh yeah. 
we have to do a video. We have to document all of this because, you know, we already know. We've discussed it many times. We don't all necessarily like all the signs with all the things, but we all also know that it is very farmhouse and farmhouse decor is still a thing out here. So they have so many I had to show you. These are $8 and you know, look at the array. I mean, they have every saying, every situation, all the things made in the USA. Where are all the made in the USA people? Raise your hands. Here it is. This video is for you. So many of their products are made in the USA. Sometimes I get haters that point out, oh yeah, that's cool and all, but it's, it's made in China and they want to do that whole thing. And listen, this channel is not about that. I don't need that in here. We don't need those vibes, but hey, if that is your thing, Bucky's has lots of made in the USA items. So there's that. Moving on. The laundry room sign. They have a bunch of these. In a little bit, you're going to see a whole wall of all of these signs. So if you do love a sign with words and you want to label all the things in your home, Bucky's has them. This one is what? 60? What is that? 60? What is that, Velvet? <laughs> I believe that was $60. Again, not the less expensive of a place, but lots of items that I feel you're not going to find everywhere. I thought this shaggy throw was cute, especially the way that they put it on that chair. I was like, okay, that's really cute. It's $25. Now, a lot of you guys did say that you have them where you live. It seemed to be almost everybody from Texas. So I guess maybe now they're bringing the Bucky's to Florida, by the way, yes, this was in Florida. We stopped at this place um, on our way to and from Florida. We just were at Universal, um, you know, Universal Studios over there by Disney and um, had a great time. And like I said, we had to stop here. This is the new one that's near Daytona, which one of you guys actually said you were just there a few weeks ago. Like I think in June, you said, right? If you're watching. So literally, this is the same exact one. So that's pretty cool. Look at this. Look at these throws. These felt so good. Like this is quality. That's the other thing. That's part of why it's not cheap. $90, but you can tell when you touch it that this is quality. And not just that, you're not going to find some of these items everywhere. So if you like unique and different and you don't want to have something that everybody else has, Bucky's, Bucky's. <laughs> I can't help it. That is our thing now with Bucky's. My daughter and I now are always like, Bucky's, Bucky's. Look at these. $400. This is real. Like, this is real. You know. What, what is this called? Like, the cow... Ma not a mane. You know what I mean. Let me know in the comments. Uh, listen. You know me in words. But you see it, and it's real. Bucky's has it. So if you're looking for stuff like that, stop out of Bucky's. You guys, by the way, the people that have this near them are so lucky. Like if I had a Bucky's, I would be going into it all the time. Look, a familiar face, our friend from Target, Joanna, <laughs> Joanna from um, Hearth and Hand. It's in the building. But the only thing is, this is mud pie. So I was kind of like, oh, is this like the Hearth and Hand section or at least like the Magnolia section? But it's just the book. Everything else was mud pie. Not to be confused with Ray Dunn. Now, how cool are these? These are cool. $25. So different. I've never seen these like this. Like I've seen leather ones and just like the regular metal ones. But these have like that cow skin 
whatever the official name of it is, it has it on there. I thought that was cool. All the leopard ladies, here is your section. In a little bit, you're going to see some clothing for fall with that print on it. Super cute. How gigantic is this? $50. I almost feel like this is a gray gag gift, you know, like to make th something funny, like you give them this huge flask. I think it's so cool. I thought that was so different. Again, lots of things that are different, unique. You're not going to see them all over the place. Buckies, buckies, buckies. Love these book uh, um, ends right here. Never seen bookends like that. How cute are these toothpicks? Do you see? $7, but they have little shells at the ends. And they're toothpicks. Love, 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 love. As you can see, this is like the nautical section, which is the other thing. It's $10 for this. I think it's so pretty. Um, I love that about the store too, because they had everything so nicely organized, like different sections, super nice. This is different, $13 for this mug, but you see how like the handle is like the tail of the whale. I thought that was cool. Here's one of these vertical signs. I like this. Like they're doing nautical, but they went with the crab. Whereas when we've been to like Home Goods or Marshalls, TJ Maxx, those stores, um, even Hobby Lobby, they're doing like a different kind of nautical. And usually it's not with the crab. So Bucky's is doing the crab thing. Now here is one of those sections that had like crosses, a little more religious, like I mentioned earlier. I thought this was super cool. This little dish, so cute, very lightweight. It's mud pie. So apparently they have a lot of mud pie items here. By the way, perfect time, because we don't see mud pies at some of the other stores that we usually shop in. Do you like mud pie? Oh, and here is the coasters. I love coasters. This one is $11.99, this set. And I mentioned in the last video, and some of you guys agreed that you also love to look at runners. I love to look at runners, even if I'm not buying runners. The same thing with coasters. If you haven't noticed in my videos, I always tend to look at coasters, even if I'm not looking to buy coasters. I don't know what it is. I think it's fun. So... That's why I usually show coasters. Um, but I digress. Who likes mud pie but doesn't like Ray Dunn? Let me know. I would love to know. Because I know there's a lot of people that don't like Ray Dunn. So if you don't like Ray Dunn, do you like mud pie or do you not like either one? Let me know in the comments. I'm excited to see what you guys are going to say about that. Because literally to me, mud pie is Ray Dunn. Ray Dunn is mud pie same difference love look at these pictures now this one is a little bit like almost gives me the creeps you know when like something has a lot of dots and things my sister is highly affected by that i'm usually not but that one mm, it's a, it, it could it could almost take me there but this one is the one that i really love that one is good but the one with the bumps not so much omg how cute are these how cute are these? These are like little towels, but then they come in this little like almost Chinese container with these little sayings on them. What? Love, so cute. I thought this was so cute. That's why I was pointing to it. A little squeezer thing. What are these things called? Oh, I cannot think of anything today, but I love it. So cute. And then this. I thought this was cool. This is metal. It's a set of two 
for your little taco holders, $23. I would love something like this, but I would actually would rather it not be metal and be like wood. I wouldn't want it to be plastic. Yeah, definitely wood. How cute are the aprons? I can't. I mean, I might, can you please tell me? Please tell me in the comments. How excited are you right now watching this? Like, are you loving it? Are you a Bucky's fan right now? If you've never been, I hope you're as excited as me to see that this place, it's, it's a full on store. It's a full on store and don't worry, I'm going to show you like, I'm gonna pan later and show you, there, there's more. There's a clothing section, there is a whole like deli section. There's many, many things. This is super exciting to me. These, the cutting boards with the decorative stuff on there with the carving, yes please. That tray, love. This place is so good and exciting. I don't know how, like they, these need to be all over the country. There's that. They need to be in every state, all over the country. They need to be on every like, you know, highway that we're traveling because we shouldn't be stopping any other place than a Bucky's. Love, love that little set. Even the presentation, did you see that? Even the presentation with the little thing in between, that little thing that I can't think of the word right now as usual so there's that but that those little trays were so cute this a little expensive 60 what 62 and change but those are cool those are cool I feel like you can't necessarily find those everywhere maybe Hobby Lobby but it won't be exactly that one and these felt nice and heavy super nice I'm not sure that they're truly vintage but you know they have that look for sure this was one of my favorite sections. And I guess it's because it's like farmhousey. I don't know. How cool is this? How cool is this? Salt and pepper shakers, $20, but they're in this wood, like, you know, container situation. But then the actual salt and pepper, it's just holding the stuff. These little sets, I love these kind of little sets. The little house and then the little, you know, cream pitcher with the little spoon and the tray super cute love this set i always look at little sets like that i find them to be so cute and then look this is like the church it's not even a house it's like the ch church 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 <laughs> church container not container but you know utensil holder i can't i'm too excited i can't think of words i can't speak i can't do anything <gasps> This is $140, but how cool is it? How cool, different, all the things. At first I'm like, what is this? What is that? What is that velvet? No, it is not. Then right here, the display. It's a wine or probably anything dispenser. Any kind of drink that you wanna tilt over. It's a dispenser, it's a drink dispenser. How cool is that? I love it. Here are these coasters that I could barely lift. They're super heavy. It's a true stone. The only thing with these coasters though, I realized it has that opening. And so if you, whatever you're drinking out of, if it doesn't, if the base doesn't fit in that opening, you're not gonna be able to use the coaster. So there's that downfall of it all. But how cool and different are those? Love those. All of this right here, it's all metal. I thought it was so cool that it has this like splatter situation going on of a design. As you can see, it's a bunch of different colors. This was my little favorite piece on this table. So cute, $23. But we already discussed price points. <laughs> we already discussed it, we already know. This is you're paying for being different you're paying for uniqueness and just not able to get it everywhere there's that i thought this was cute love this and then here is like i guess you can put it together a little diy they have all the letters numbers all the things i thought this was really cute 5.99 though wow 
Like, think about it. Depending on what you're trying to spell out, that's gonna add up. Then this section. What? The Lodge cookware stuff? Now, that $10 price was for the handle. Obviously, the pan itself is $35. They have a whole array of all the different ones. I thought this was cool. It's basically a wok, a cast iron wok. What? I've never seen that before. I thought that one was really, really cool. $8 for these little... What are they? Like steak branding thingies? You know better than me. So they have them <laughs> is the point. And I feel like you don't necessarily find those everywhere. These were cool. They're nice size. They are super heavy. It's a real stone. So good. A hundred dollars. They even have books. They even have books. I am amazed by this place. And I know, it's not that serious. It's not that big of a deal. It's okay. You don't have to tell me, like, oh, what's the big deal? I don't need that in here. I already told you. I don't need haters and people being negative. I'm excited. I wanted you to be excited. I wanted to show you that this place exists. It is a first for me and my family. And I thought it was so cool that we like got to experience it and I wanted to share it with you guys. $45 for this Lacey Susan. I love the variety that they had. These were so cool. Love. Now here is the clothing section. I told you that they were gonna have this leopard section. So cute. It's so not me. It's so not like what I would do, but I appreciate it. I think it's cool. I know a lot of people who would love this stuff. It's super cute. Grace and Emma, don't know who they are, but these little bell-bottom pants are $20. I thought this t-shirt is so cute. Like a little girl with those pants and the t-shirt. Love. That would be so, so cute. And it's like right on point with the seasons coming up. So there you go. Even though this is just like a rest stop kind of situation, Bucky's is on point. Like... They're with the seasons, they're with the trends. They know what they're doing. Bucky's knows what they're doing. Bucky's, Bucky's. <laughs> Say it with me, Bucky's, Bucky's, Bucky's. If you ever have a chance to stop at a Bucky's during like a road trip, highly recommend. I mean, I don't see why you wouldn't. It's so good. Look at all the stuff for the babies. Adorable. Adorable. I was definitely looking at this stuff and thinking, OMG, for my granddaughter who's one years old, I would love, love. And this is the actual like Bucky's collection. Like that's Bucky on the print. I thought that was so cool. So they're even selling like their own like branded stuff, not just like other people's stuff. They have their own Bucky's t-shirts and everything. And look, it looks really cute. Like how cute were those bathing suits and everything that we just looked at? Like that's super cute. Here are some keychains. And I even found the D for Damaris. So that was cool. There's my daughter and my husband looking at stuff. And then, of course, I wanted to show you the Bucky Mobile. There's a huge, gigantic um, Bucky in here. Can you see that stuffed Bucky? He's driving the car. It was hard to see because of the glare, but he's in there. And then I just wanted to give you this, like, overview. Like, see, this is what I'm saying. I couldn't get in there and show you all of that. I mean... You know, we were on our way to Universal, so there was only so much time I could spend in here, but I definitely did not want to go without showing you guys. They even have a Bucky Popper. I've seen these toys before, and when I saw that they had 
a Bucky one? Of course, I had to show it. See, look at these t-shirts. Like, I would wear this. I would wear a sunflower t-shirt with Bucky on it. <laughs> it's so cool. They even have the hats. Lots of t-shirts of all kinds. All the things. See? All the things. More clothes over here. And it is Bucky. This is like the Halloween collection, if you will. It says Boo Crew. Aren't these cool? Like, these look so Halloween-ish. Like, they're... I don't know. Uh, hey. Hey. They glow in the dark, by the way. And these are only $13. I know. I sound like a poly. I'm repeating myself. I do that a lot anyway. FYI. <laughs> if you've been watching, you know that. I repeat myself constantly. But with this video, I just know, like, my excitement. And I just keep saying, like... Bucky's is where it's at right now. <laughs> Being kind is cool. Yes. Yes. Listen. I thought I was done. At this point, I will tell you, I thought I was done. And then I turn the corner and see this little hidden pocket of pocketbooks, leather goods, all the things. Again, not cheap, but this is real leather. This is the real deal stuff. $70 for this bag. This is real leather, real skins, real everything. Now, let me tell you, this is the entrance going into the bathroom. This is actual artwork. It is for sale. I kind of just show a tiny tidbit of the bathroom right there. Obviously, people are in there. I did not want to invade people's privacy. But let me tell you, I had to show you. And one of their slogans is, what is it? What was it? Oh, my gosh. There's my daughter and husband again. Um, use the bathroom like a rock star or something like that. Something about the bathrooms and being a rock star. And it is so true. I'm telling you, see, there's the entrance to the restrooms. It is so nice in there. They even have like um, something to, for you to actually wipe your toilet seat clean before you sit on it the bathrooms are so clean to begin with and then they actually provide that in every stall and the stalls are huge it was insane and now here is the brisket do you see him cutting all that brisket over there so good the brisket was delicious look at it right there we had an awesome time and that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please definitely give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. I would love to know what you thought. Subscribe if you haven't and you're enjoying what you're seeing. Click the notification bell. Let's keep shopping together because it's so fun. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.